I've had a few requests from people asking me how to open ports and close ports in Windows 7 uh, so I thought I'd make a quick video to show you how to do it, it's pretty easy so let's uh, go to start and then control panel and inside here you can get to uh, system and security okay click on there and in Windows firewall once we get to there we now can see uh, our options that we have on the left hand pane here what we need to do is go to allow program or feature through f firewall Windows firewall so once we get into here we can see a lot of uh, options so what we need to do is go change settings okay now this gives us the actual options to do what we want okay put ticks in and do what we need so what we want to do first say for argument's sake if you wanted to put a tick in here you could do and put the ticks in there but we want to go allow another program okay now you can actually browse for the program that you may be having trouble with to allow to go through okay say for argument's sake if it was Foxit Reader you can go like that click add and then it will add that program to the list okay and then you'd go back in here and put the ticks in okay that's one way of going about it another way is actually coming into the advanced settings uh, tab here once we've done that you've got inbound rules and outbound rules this is where, where you can actually start to add IP uh, sorry not IP um, port numbers so what we need to do is go to inbound rules click on that and then click uh, new rule okay simple as that and then we need to come down to port and then once you've got that go next now what you need to do is decide on what you want to allow through okay so if it's TCP or UDP maybe it's both if it is then you need to allow both through okay now we're just going to do one for this uh, for this video so basically we need to do TCP leave it in uh, specific uh, local ports because we're, we're actually giving it the port that we want so say for argument's sake 80 and then we go next okay and then allow the connection okay that's what we do or allow the connection if it is secure or you've got block connection okay now you could do go into customization if you wanted to and come in here and play around with these if you wanted to okay o override block rules and so on and so on. there's loads of stuff in there you can have a little play around um, but basically for this tutorial we're just going to leave it in allow the connection okay go next and then basically we can leave these ticks in okay you can read all these yourselves and uh, basically you just leave the ticks in there go next and then we need to put our, um, our name in there so we're going to call it HTTP like so and then basically you put a description in there okay whatever you like and then click finish so uh, what do we do if we want to uh, open up another type so what we want to do is go to advanced settings and we've got the outbound now outbound is what it is inbounds coming into your computer and outbound is going out so we need to do the outbound so new rule same thing go through the same old process port next and then TCP or UDP put the port number in that you want to do okay go next okay and that's the one we do there leave those in and then we can put um, same thing HTTP okay and that's that and then click finish now if you want to what about if you want to block a port okay so you, what you need to do we're going to go back to the inbound rules okay go into new rule and then basically you just go to port go next uh, click say if it was TCP and we want to do say for argument's sake block 80 we want to block this one okay go next and all you need to do is put the block this connection or block the connection okay go next leave that all as it is okay go there and then you can type in something as simple as like block HTTP okay I wouldn't advise you blocking it but I'm just giving you an example say for instance it was you torn or whatever it may be you want to do and give you a description and click finish okay so that's how you open and block ports inside uh, Windows 7 it's pretty simple so I know it's a basic video guys but someone did ask me how to do it and uh, I thought I'd make them a quick uh, video on to it so as you can see there is some other bits here we're not going to bother going into those but that's how you open and close a port my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoyed these videos if you enjoyed these videos please remember show your support and hit that subscribe button and uh, if any of my videos help you out also remember please uh, pay back by hitting the subscribe button 
if you've got any problems head, head over to the uh, forum there post your problems over on the forum and uh, we'll do our best to help you over there thanks again for guys thanks for watching bye for now